Hello, and welcome to my March 2022 Fairfax Two-Gun Action Challenge match video. I am Mauser Dude. At the match, I shot my FNFAL G1 and my CZ75 in preparation for Woodland Brutality. I also brought my mishmash of 50s and 60s German web gear and 80s Alice stuff to try it out and make sure everything worked on the clock. The Alice gear and web gear worked fine. Started off on stage four. It was a rifle only stage. You started off on a tank prop. Had to run down, reset two large poppers, run back. And here I'm running down this at the poppers the first time. Uh, fast forwarded it to double speed so you don't have to watch me run. And run back. Then you engage both those prop, both those poppers from the tank trap, you know, rifle or hand touching the tank trap. And then there's two more targets on the back berm, probably 150, 200 yards away. They're 10 inch gongs. So took three shots there and got the 10 inchers, I think, with three shots too. So started off pretty good. Yep, there you go. Put the rifle down, facing the berm, safety on, and double speed again, run down. This exposed a weakness with me. I haven't sprinted in quite a while, so this was pretty slow, and it is going to force me to par out in conjunction with, uh, with a little snafu here. This is my first time trying the FAL out on as an action challenge match, and you'll see here in a shot or two it, the trigger felt funny i thought i had a malfunction so i ejected it around i think it was just i'm not used to feeling the squishy trigger on the clock so that was a little extra time and then i ended up parring out right there uh, with two targets left then it was stage five stage five is in the same bay uh, start off with those same two large poppers. You engage those with your pistol at about 25 yards, I guess, maybe a little more, 50 yards maybe. Uh, it took me three shots. That was the best pistol shooting I did in the day. And you show clear and holster. And then you run down to the berm behind those poppers and engage those. 10 inch plates here. I think I did a double speed again. Oh no, this is single speed. I also found out that I had to loosen my sling quite a bit to make it useful to uh, actually carry. So that was a, a good finding. And you engage those uh, plates from whatever position you want on the on the berm. Uh, strong, strong hand or strong side. And did that okay. And then you have to switch to your weak side. And I immediately put my thumb in front of the ejection port, which is just brilliant. I actually felt the bolt go back and the round hit my finger. And it was mildly distracting because I thought I did something something terrible. Another shooter hurt his thumb doing this earlier with a M1A. So that was kind of on my mind, I think. And this is a, a little bit of a mess trying to, you know, shoot off with your left eye through iron sights the first time prone. I've literally never shot offhand prone before. So it was a little little bit of a learning curve on the clock here. So I eventually get all the targets, which is wasn't too bad. This stage I came in 35th. It was just slow. And on stage four, the previous stage, I came in 20th, which wasn't too bad considering I parred out, so a lot of other people must have parred out as well. Okay, Then this is labeled stage two, but I think it's actually stage three in practice score. This is a mini pistol version of the, from Desert Brutality. You draw and shoot that mini Ipsic, strong hand only, ground the pistol, throw a kettlebell over a ladder, retrieve the pistol, and from this side, weak hand only, put, put it down and repeat, and you essentially get a, 
I think it's a five second bonus for every shot you make and as many as you can get in par time which was 60 seconds and it is it's pretty crazy to see how just a little bit of distraction and kettlebell work makes your pistol shooting degrade pretty fast I thought I heard a ting but I already didn't call it so I end up taking a couple more shots there and I end up getting a uh, uh, six, six bonuses, which is about middle of the pack. I came in 19th for this, so it's about middle of the pack. Nice little stage. Oh, should have got that last shot, but then this is labeled stage three, but I think this is actually stage. Well, I don't even know if it's one or two, but it, this was a this was a big old pile of fail on my part. As you can see, it's called F and fail. The you have ten four inch plates on stands you have to engage and a Texas Star, so it's fifteen targets. Um, you have a sixty second power time to engage to shoot them all, and I managed to only get five. Uh, it's about this is double speed too because you. You can't really see anything. Uh, you'll see, see a little clip of the, at the end here. You'll see me hit one or two with the 308, and they they fly off pretty good. And also some, some crowd commentary here. Ah, oh, timed out. Jeremy, you're not taking that to Woodland Brutality. I'm putting that on video. <laughs> and then off to the last stage, and I don't know if it was mental or what, but this this was a stage I should have done much better on. It's a, you start 50 yards back, run up to about 30 yards, and you, have, you shoot the same targets. We were just shooting out the rifle with the pistol. I am more than capable of hitting four inch plates at 25 or 30 yards. And this was just a big old pile of fail uh, over a whole magazine just on the right, right five. This was all over the place. And you're supposed to pick up the kettlebell and move on to the move over to a different, different station and shoot the Texas Star. And I did that one double speed too because you don't need to watch me miss a bunch. Overall, I came in 36. I was beat by a guy with a bolt action. And a 1911, so that was not very good. Uh, but I learned a lot, and hopefully I'll be able to correct these things before Woodland Brutality. Um, thanks to everybody at uh, Fairfax. Uh, did an excellent job running the match. Uh, super safe and, and very good. Uh, my biggest learnings are just need to do some different distance shooting with the FAL to see what's going on. As you can see, I had... Uh, pull up my big old drawer fail of excuses there. And as always, thanks to Merrily Gus and Sprinkles for all their support. Ooh.